Did you know that you can create your own fonts in Silhouette Studio? You can, and it's super simple. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. You found your way to Silhouette Success. There is a catch to this. Unfortunately, you do have to have the Business Edition upgrade in order to have this feature. However, at the time of this recording, it is on sale for Mother's Day. There's also a sale on the Cameo 5s, if you can believe that. Anyway, there's a lot to cover today, so let's get started. Let's open up our font creation tab. Mine is being a little bit finicky today, but just a little bit of patience and it will pop up. The first tab is for you to create a handwritten font. This is going to be your own handwriting. The first thing you want to do is show font creator sheet. That's going to open up another page with this on it. Go ahead and go up to File and Print. You're going to end up with a sheet that looks just like this. I've printed off several copies because my handwriting is not great. I'm sure I will need to start over at least once. You'll want to go through and fill in all of the letters that you're going to want in your font. If you're not going to use all of these symbols or whatever, you can either replace them with something else or just ignore them completely. You want to work with a black pen. A Sharpie is going to be too thick, but you do want your lines to be uniform in width. So grab a nice pen. You want to fill in the space completely between these lines and try to keep the height and width of the letters somewhat uniform. Once you've finished filling out your sheet, you are going to select either your scanner or a photo. I'm going to use my scanner, so I will click on the one that I'm going to use, place the paper on the scanner, and then start scan. This dialog box will pop up. I always choose custom settings because I like my scans to come in at a quality of 300 DPI, and then I can click on scan again. Now you can see it has brought all of my letters in over here. You'll have to excuse my shaky handwriting, but you can double click on each letter and that's going to bring that up so that you can edit it. You can actually double click on this to bring up the editing points if you'd like. You can click on simplify and if you want, you can straighten some of this out. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it, but you can see that it has opened up the point editing panel next to the font creation panel. If you've made any changes to your letter, you want to go ahead and save the glyph. And then you can go on. Notice down here I did a smiley face instead of whatever they had on there. That turned out kind of cute. I'm not going to go through and edit all of these, but I do want to show you that you can rename this font. We don't really want an untitled one. Let's call this my handwriting. Enter. Now down at the bottom you have your save options. You can do a test run that installs the font for use in Silhouette Studio until the application is closed. The font will not be saved. So if you choose this one, you can use this font temporarily, but it's not going to be saved in Silhouette Studio or on your computer. So you can create your handwriting font, click the test run, and use it until you close the software out. If you close the software out, then it's going to be gone. The next option is Save Final Version and Install. This saves your final font as a TTF file and installs the font for use in all applications. This means it does save it to your computer and it installs it so that you can use this font not only in Silhouette Studio, but say Canva or Inkscape or whatever other designing programs you use. This is going to be installed on your computer. This last option is save final version without installing. So this is going to save your final font as a TTF file on your computer for later installation or use. 
So it will save it, it will not install it. But I'm going to go ahead and save final version and install. We'll save that in the downloads file. It is titled My Handwriting, True Type Font, and click Save. And it says it has been successfully saved and installed. We can click OK. So now we can go over to a blank page. Click on our text tool over here. Let's type out my handwriting. Fill that in with color so that we can see it a little bit better. We can come up to this box, double click, and look for my handwriting. There it is. Let's click enter. And there you go. Again, very shaky, but it is definitely my handwriting. Now, since I do not have the best handwriting in the world, I prefer to use the digital font creation. And that is the second tab here. Let's go ahead and add another one. And I want to call this one My Dingbats. When you're doing the digital font creation, you do not need to print that sheet out. What you're going to do is click on each letter, double click, and then start creating different glyphs. We can add a star. After you have everything set up just right, you can save the glyph, and it appears here. Double click on the next one. And for this one, I want to do an outline of a star. So I will open up the offset panel and choose internal offset, I think. Click apply, select both, make a compound path, and save that. Now we have a star that's completely filled in, and we have the outline of a star. Double click for the C. Let's create some hearts in the same fashion. We can save that for the C, double click on the D. Let's bring that back up for a minute. Let's copy this, double click on the D. No, we don't want to save. Now we can right click and paste, create the internal offset, select both, make a compound path, and save that. Now you can go through and fill each one of these in in that manner, or can go over to whatever site you typically get your designs from. I'm going to head to Creative Fabrica and this bundle here caught my eye. We can download this, extract all. Now if I double click on the E that's going to bring up my fresh page. I can go to File and Merge and just start adding in some of these swirls here. That brings it in right up in here, very tiny. So let's drag that out. And you want to keep these kind of uniform in size. And save that glyph. Go on to F. And again, save the glyph. Let's go ahead and save this as a final version and install. Install to the downloads and save. My Dingbats has been successfully saved and installed. Click OK. Now let's go to our design. We can grab our cursor, head over to our textile panel. Let's find My Dingbats. Enter. And then go up to the glyph panel. You can click on any one of these and it's going to bring in the dingbat that you created. You can fill these in with color. You can scale them to size. And you can choose any one of these to add to any design and they're just all right here for you in one tab. And it's just a really simple way to add extra flair, especially if you're doing a text design.